Hey, want to see my mighty pirate scrapbook? It's filled with my adventures. Ever since I was a kid, I wanted to be a mighty pirate. That's me, Guybrush Threepwood. That's me, Guybrush Threepwood. In the old days, you became a pirate by completing three trials to prove your worth. Treasure hunting is important for any pirate. The pirate leaders were in charge of the three trials, acting as judge, jury, executioner, and devoted grog tasters. The test of thievery involved breaking into the governor's mansion. The security was heavy. Mastering sword fighting was more a matter of wits than agility. This is when I met Elaine, the love of my life. She was governor at the time. Things took an unexpected turn while I was working on the three trials. Elaine was kidnapped and taken to Monkey Island by the nefarious ghost pirate LeChuck. I scraped together a crew. Carla, Otis, and Meathook joined me on my voyage to Monkey Island to save Elaine. LeChuck thought he was in love with Elaine. My first ship was the Sea Monkey. I bought it at Stan's used ships with a letter of credit that I, um, sort of falsified. Monkey Island, you had to brew a special... P Monkey Island was a steaming volcanic mystery, covered with jungle and not found on any map. You had to brew a special potion just to find Monkey Island. I made some substitutions, but it got us there just the same. There were some people living there who claimed to be cannibals, but I think it was just a show for the tourists. On the island was a gigantic monkey head statue with hidden catacombs underneath. LeChuck's ghostly ship was anchored in a lake of lava hidden beneath the island's surface. I met an old castaway there, Herman Toothrot. He and the locals wrote a lot of indignant letters to each other. We wound up back on Melee Island for the stunning conclusion to my first big adventure. I made it to the church just in time to stop the wedding. Or so I thought. Yeah, it turned out Elaine already had everything under control. How does she do that? By then, I had learned that ghosts like LeChuck are vulnerable to root beer. It just trust me, it works, okay? I defeated LeChuck, and he basically exploded. It was the beginning of something magical. Uh, these are from the time I went to find the treasure of Big Whoop. I met my good friend Wally, who makes maps, and I stole his monocle. Good times. The map to the treasure had been torn into four pieces, which, let's face it, is about as piratey as it gets. The mysterious voodoo lady at the International House of Mojo taught me to make a voodoo doll, which came in handy more than once. Elaine always seems to know when I need her. Again, it came down to just me and LeChuck at the end. He was using magic, but then, so was I. One time, Elaine got turned into a statue. Well, LeChuck was behind it, of course. That guy never gives up. The fact that he turned her into a statue tells me LeChuck doesn't really love Elaine. He thinks of her as furniture. I got eaten by a snake. I erupted a volcano on purpose. There's not a lot I wouldn't do for Elaine. It was around this time that I met Murray, the allegedly all-powerful demonic skull, after a rousing sea battle. I got buried alive! Things backfired on LeChuck because Elaine and I got married when it was all over. Game, set, matchmaker. This was a great day. Though in retrospect, we shouldn't have had the scum bar handle the catering. This is the daisy we stomped on together. Wedding traditions are weird. That's either Elaine's wedding veil or my handkerchief. We got them to match. Elaine and me together forever. The daggers are symbolic of cutting through troubles, I think. I wrote a great haiku for the wedding invitation. I don't know why you have to have candy-coated almonds at a wedding, but apparently you do. Oh man, this was that crazy time LeChuck teamed up with an Australian billionaire and tried to use a mystical talisman to make Elaine his bride. The ultimate insult wasn't really ultimate, or even an insult at all. Or was it? 
everything started because they thought Elaine was dead, so they held an election to replace her. LeChuck and I battled it out on a grand scale that time. I made a goofy monster out of prosthetic body parts. It didn't help with anything, but I had fun doing it. Then there was the time I accidentally let loose LeChuck's pox over the entire Caribbean. Or so it seemed. I had to wear a hook for a while. It came in handy. Elaine wasn't fooled by LeChuck's human form any more than I was. I should have trusted her more. Morgan LeFlay betrayed me, even after we bonded inside a giant manatee. I should have trusted her less. The death card doesn't usually represent literal physical death. Except when it does. I went on trial for my life on four separate charges. I defended myself, of course. Love did win out in the end. Oh, here's that voodoo doll from the end of my Big Whoop adventure. I defeated LeChuck with this. His leg came off as easy as tearing a loaf of bread. Oh. Do you remember where we were? Kind of, but remind me a little. Okay. To get myself to Monkey Island, I had joined LeChuck's crew, in disguise and posing as a lowly swabby. I planned to start a mutiny and seize the ship, but for the moment, I was stuck doing my job in the ship's hold. The rest of my gear is in there. I hope it'll be safe down here. It's probably fine. No way am I picking that up with my hands. I think it's chicken grease. I hope my roommates don't get upset. I think... Driving rain and crashing waves. Perfect sailing weather. <laughs> Murray? Indeed, I am Murray, the all-powerful demonic skull. But you have me at a disadvantage with it, zombie man. Have we met before? Yes, at a demonic skull party. I recall a clumsy bartender spilling a lava guavatini on my necktie. That must have been you. Necktie? And you plague me now just as before. The curse of painful boils on your left foot for exposing me. I'm here undercover, gathering valuable information for the exquisitely devious Captain Madison. Madison? Very interesting. Ooh, I probably should not have said that. Do me a favor and keep it to yourself, Withered Zombie Man. No problem. How come you're working for Captain Madison? I thought you were your own man. Uh, Skull. I owe her a favor. It's none of your business. Why do you owe Captain Madison a favor? Well, ironically, I was sealed up in a crate, and she freed me. Oh, you mean like I just did? It's not the same thing. What exactly is Madison up to? I would be a poor spy indeed if I told you that. You diminish us both by asking. Knock it off. Come on. Tell me what Madison is up to. You diminish us both by asking. Knock it off. Come on. Tell me what Madison is up to. You diminish... I think it's chicken grease. I hope my roommates don't get upset. Looks like you missed a spot. Aww. Ugh, I'll keep my distance. Mothers are more vicious defending their young. Oi! 
You missed a spot. Come on. You missed a spot. Is that your catchphrase or something? The rest of my gear is in there. I hope it'll be safe down here. It's probably fine. More importantly, is the taste of after chicken the same as the aftertaste of chicken? I wonder what it's made out of. I already have some chicken feed. It's a really tight fit. I can't quite squeeze through. Better. No way am I picking that up with my hands. Going somewhere, Swabby? You haven't cleaned up that mess. Get back to Marvin. I'm feeling just the slightest twinge of regret about the choices I've made up to this point. It's a really tight fit. I can't quite squeeze through. I've got enough to last me. I already have some chicken feed. Nice chicken. Don't bite my fingers off, okay?
Oi, you missed a spot. Seriously, get some new dialogue. Knock it off! Looks like you missed a spot. Oh, nuts! Oi! You missed a spot. Oh, nuts! You missed a spot. Oh, nuts! Oi! You missed a spot! Oh, nuts! Looks like you missed a spot. Oh, nuts! Looks like you missed a spot. Oh, nuts! Ew. Oi! You missed a spot. Oh, nuts! Close enough. Looks like you missed a spot. Oh, nuts! Come on, tell me what Madison is up to. You diminish us both by asking. Knock it off. It's an inspirational instructional pamphlet that I'm supposed to carry around and read. The grease helps. A little. This is now a slightly greasy porthole. You missed a spot. Oh, nuts! You missed a spot. Oh, nuts. I've got a good feeling about this, but I won't fit through with the mop. Uh, it's working. It's the ship's hold. Home sweet home? I can't see anything. This one doesn't open. This one doesn't open. That's a 
big rudder. That's a big rudder. I think that's the Chuck's cabin, but it wasn't on the introductory tour. It looks like it'd be more useful for fishing than stopping. Blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. This is a bunch of empty containers of monkey blood and squid ink. Blah blah blah. Blah, blah, blah! Feast your eyes on this, me hearties. The one and only map showing the exact location of the secret of Monkey Island. Yeah. 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 The map will be kept in my cabin. No one is to touch it or disturb it in any way. Now, before we can follow the map, obviously we must make our way to Monkey Island itself. Let's have the potion report. Wait, there's a potion? You don't remember that from my other story? To get to Monkey Island, you have to brew a special potion. But you and LeChuck had both been there before. Why couldn't you just sail there? It doesn't work like that. You have to make the potion every time. How does the potion work? I don't know. Nobody does. It's magic. It just helps you find Monkey Island. What's in it? Oh, um, let's see. Uh, it's got squid ink and monkey blood uh, and a pressed skull. I definitely remember that. Also, cinnamon, mint, and brimstone and some coloring and preservatives. Oh, and a live chicken. But listen, you shouldn't worry about this yet. Wait till you're 12 or so. Okay, I think I got it. The potion is nearly finished, Captain. All that's left is one flattened skull, and we'll be ready to cook it. Excellent! You there, in the back! New guy! Me? Hmm. You look familiar somehow. I get that a lot. I have a common sort of face. I suppose everyone looks the same with the skin peeled off. <laughs> well, no matter. Go and get us a skull. A flat one. Any questions? Why do we need a skull? To finish the voodoo potion. We just went over this. Well, why does it have to be a flat skull? Because the recipe says so. Where should I look for a skull? That's your problem! Can I have a raise? Sure. Straight into the rigging, where you'll hang by your ankles for the next few years. Got it? Never mind. Yeah, you get used to it. Okay, I'm on it. One skull. Flat. Be quick about it then! Meeting adjourned. We'll finish the potion, and then I'll see about getting my hands on that map. How's the potion coming? You heard the captain. It's nearly finished. Go and find a flattened skull like he told you to. If you can't do that, find a regular skull and flatten it. Well, the potion smells like it's ready to go. It's just missing the flattened skull. Nice looking skull you've got there, Apple Bob. Now before you get any ideas, I'm a ghost. My skull won't work. And Putra already asked. Why don't you stick your own head in the pot and see what happens? Relax, I was just making conversation. I'll find a skull someplace else. Sorry if I offended you. Oh, that's okay. I know you're under pressure. empty. That was fun. 
but it would be even better if the cannons loaded with something. Ready for cannon firing. Shouldn't you be up in the crow's nest doing lookout stuff? Mm, the best show is down here. I want to see if you screw up this thing with this skull. Can I check the crow's nest for a skull? There's nothing you need up there. Any ideas for where to find a skull? I'm really more of a watcher than a helper. What's it like working for LeChuck? I can't complain. Really? It's in the employee handbook. No complaining. You'll live longer if you remember that, new guy. Do we have a union? You sure don't, Swabby. Gotta go. I've got a job to do. My condolences. This is a bunch of empty containers of preservatives and coloring agents. I think it's just a sculpture. I hope it's just a sculpture. The crow's nest is up there. There's nothing to need up there, okay? This is a bunch of empty containers of preservatives and coloring agents. The first item in the ship's safety procedures is never to try to pet Scruffles. Toasty. Top deck schedule. One bell, crew voting. Two bells, the chuck shouting. Now's not a good time to attract attention. Toasty. I told ye to find a flattened skull. Do it! Before I decide to use yours instead! These open plan offices are all the rage now. I guess it's a good sign if they're not trying to leave? I'll probably do my shirt in a few weeks when it starts to get mossy. It doesn't do much to cut the chill in here, but I'll take what I can get. Nice. A slideshow of creepy zombie guys. Wait a minute. That looks exactly like Elaine's wedding veil. Ooh, I can't decide which is more disturbing. LeChuck somehow stealing Elaine's wedding veil, or him having a copy made. Ooh, I can't decide which- If I'm wrong about what that is, taking it would be a big mistake. If I'm right, it would be a bigger one. If I'm wrong about what that is, taking it would be a- Dosty. Dosty. I know art is supposed to grab you, but this is taking it too far. It doesn't do much to cut the chill in here, but I'll take what I can get. Aha! You're out and about! At least they don't smell like live chickens. Hey, Murray, why don't you come with me? I can show you around the ship. No. I really think you should come with me. No. Please? Spare me your dull entreaties. I cannot be moved, uh, figuratively speaking. I really think you should come with me. No. You won't learn much here in the hold. Wrong. The hold is a treasure trove of information. The nature of the cargo, the state of the hull, the battle-ready chickens, and slow-witted zombies. Hey, 
I've got a lot of important spying to do down here. Leave me to it. I really think you should come with me. No. I can get you close to LeChuck. Hmm. I would very much like to be able to spy on LeChuck himself. <laughs> very well. You may transport me. That is one revoltingly greasy porthole. That's a big rudder. Going in there, Murray. I didn't realize how hard it would be to see anything from your pocket. Good thing I have excellent hearing. Let me apologize in advance. You're gonna have to take one for the team. I see no team. Only you, withered zombie man. Let me assure you that whatever you're planning, it will be nothing compared to the torments that I will... I would admire your methods if they had been used on someone else. Uh, thanks, I guess. I put it in the pot? Is it flat? Uncomfortably so. Then yes. How's the potion coming? You heard the captain. It's nearly finished. Go and find a flattened skull like he told you to. You can't do that. Find a regular skull and flatten it. Fearsome leader. I told ye to find a flattened skull. Hey, what are you? <laughs> Next stop, Monkey Island. Bobby! Good. 
Why are you out of the old? You're not ready for the deck. Where's your mop? And also... Uh, I... I can explain, sir. I guess you'll be first swab now, whatever your name is. A promotion? I won't let you down. This'll be ruined now it's spilled. Start making the potion again. I'll be in me cabin, gritting me collection of other people's teeth. Redo the potion? Is that even possible? No! We barely scraped together the ingredients the first time. We're out of almost everything. Let's tip the cauldron back and pretend we're working on it. Maybe he'll forget about it eventually. You don't know LeChuck like I do. But it'll buy us some time. Is this one of those times where you substitute different stuff for all the ingredients and it works anyway? No, they were right. We couldn't make the potion again. But you told me that you can't get to Monkey Island unless you make the potion. Well, I did. But as it turns out, there is a way. We storytellers call what's happening now a twist. There was an important piece of the puzzle that I hadn't seen yet. I started by looking around the ship for opportunities. Hey! That looks like a permanent stain. Yeah, smells worse than it looks. It's empty now. What's that? Plundering prospects. Ah, uh, you won't need those. I'll find a way for us to get to Monkey Island. Hmm. Hey, Pop, have you got any ideas on how to get to Monkey Island that don't involve a voodoo potion? My mind's a blank. I try to keep it that way if possible. This is a bunch of empty containers of monkey blood and squid ink. I think it's just a sculpture. I hope it's just a sculpture. <laughs> These things get more sophisticated every year. Would that we all did the same. Hey, Flambe! Ship ahoy! It's Captain Madison! Ready the cannons! Don't worry about it. The Chuck already knows they're out there. Wait, never mind. Something's going on. They've got a cauldron on deck. That looks like a cinnamon stick. Mint, squid ink. Hey, wait a minute. I know that recipe. They didn't come to sink us. Those weasels are going to Monkey Island. Okay. Undercut my three, I mean, three woods expedition so they could claim the prize for themselves. You don't want to say that name out loud on this ship. Trust me. Why aren't they happier? A well placed stab in the back is cause for celebration. Aha! They're missing a skull. We don't need a potion because they have one. What? Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Make ready to sail. Do I look like a quartermaster to you? You sure don't look like one to me. I'll go talk to Iron Rose. This is gonna be great. If you say so, swabby. Well, looks like they haven't figured out their skull problem yet. Good. I've got an idea for how we can get to Monkey Island. So you said. Ah, you should tell Ion Rose about it. Or someone who cares, if <laughs> you can find such a person. Ah, 
Uh, oops. I have an amazing idea. Does it involve mopping? No. It involves following another ship to Monkey Island. See, Captain Madison is just east of us right now. They're brewing the potion to go to Monkey Island. So? So I'm going to help them finish it, and then we follow them. All I need to do is get them a skull somehow. Make ready to sail. No. We don't even want to go to Monkey Island. Golet gave us a perfect excuse to skip it, and now you're about to screw it up. Let's lock him in the hold. Whoa, hang on. I thought the whole point of this voyage was to go to Monkey Island. It was, but that was strictly LeChuck's idea. There's nothing on that island except for the secret. The secret doesn't split six ways. <clears throat> Seven. LeChuck only wants it because of his obsession with that stale glass of milk guy brush three board. I think you're making a mistake. Let's put it to a vote. Voting is supposed to be at one bell. Fair enough. The matter before the crew is the question of whether we should go to Monkey Island. I vote nay. 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 <clears throat> Aye. The vote to go has to be unanimous. It isn't. Meeting adjourned. What? Unanimous? It means I had to convince each and every member of the crew to change their vote. Wow. Listen, about that trip to Monkey Island. That we voted against. Exactly. I want to try to persuade you to change your mind about it. Or if not your mind, then at least your vote. Good luck with that. I'm regretting hiring you right now. As Quartermaster, it seems like you should be more loyal to LeChuck, who, I will point out, very much wants to go. I've been with LeChuck a long time. Exactly. In the beginning, I really admired the way he saw the world. As a big round box with a ribbon on it and the secret of Monkey Island inside? I don't know, that's just it. I can't even remember what I found so inspiring. It makes it hard to follow his lead on a personal quest like the secret of Monkey Island. Oh. I still think you should vote to go to Monkey Island. I don't want to talk about that now. I'm having a crisis of faith. About not being inspired by LeChuck to follow his lead. Okay. I'd like to discuss your vote on the Monkey Island issue. It's nay. I'm afraid going to Monkey Island doesn't really have anything in it for me. Wouldn't the change of scenery be nice? I've seen lots of scenery. How about I make it worth your while? Go on. I'll get you transferred to the other yard arm. I've been there. I prefer this one. I'll take your next shift. If I didn't know better, I'd say you were after my job. No thanks. I'll be your best friend. My best friend will always be the sea. Or maybe Putra. Well, what would you be interested in? Well, I've got all I need, but... I'm bored. We used to have an entertainment budget, but this fancy new ship is leveraged like crazy, so there are no frills anymore. Entertainment, you say? I'm sure I could come up with something. Entertainment is my middle name. <laughs> well, that's funny. Oh, I do like a good joke. They don't last very long, though. Bob, I confess I'm a little confused about what your job is. I mean, I know you hang up there all day, I'm just not sure why. As yard arm hanger, I serve as an example to the crew of what might happen if they break the rules. It's an important role, though admittedly not an exciting one. What do you like to do for fun? Oh, pretty much anything. I'm easy. Sea shanties? Well, no. Clog dancing? Hmm, not so much. 
Bowling? Not really. Flea circus? Not really. Keel hauling? Nah. Embroidery? Well, no. Improvisational theater? Mm, not so much. Model shipbuilding? Not really. Animal husbandry? Nah. Basket weaving? Mm, not so much. Meditation? Mm, not so much. Yodeling? Not really. Carpentry? Nah. Whittling? Well, no. Whistling? Nah. Philosophical discussion? Mm, not so much. Water ballet? Nah. Gin rummy? Not really. Checkers? Nope. Historical novels? I do enjoy reading. Aha! Biographies? I do enjoy reading. Autobiographies? I do enjoy reading. Adventure stories? I do enjoy reading. Travel guides? I do enjoy reading. Self-help books? I do enjoy reading. Crime thrillers? I do enjoy reading. Speculative fantasy? I do enjoy reading. Romance novels? I do enjoy reading. Reading? I do enjoy reading. We'll see what I can find. Swabby, come over here. You be new to my ship. I like to meet each of my crew. What's your name, Swabby? I gouger the reckless. Look. I'm just going to call you Swabby. It's not good for the chain of command if we get too friendly. Any questions? None? Good, I likes an unquestioning crew. Now, get back to work before I use your entrails as bait. Wait! Um... Don't forget the keel hauling tomorrow at four. I like to think of it as a team building exercise. I won't. How's it going in there, Murray? I don't know what you're planning now, but I'm going to see you burn for it. A uh, flare? What? Forgive me, but I'm unclear. What exactly is your job on this ship? I'm the second mate, bosun, gunner, ship surgeon, and composer. And I do the laundry. Wow. Save a little for the rest of us, huh? You after my jobs? Better not be. I need the cash. I'm saving up. What are you saving up for? None of your business, Swabby. What's that you're working on? It's theme music for LeChuck. I'm sketching out a melody. I'm happy with the first two notes. They're both... Do. The repetition emphasizes LeChuck's relentless nature, his dogged pursuit of his goals. It's a quality I admire. Still working on the other notes, my target is seven total. I'm hoping to work in an augmented fourth to make it sound demonic. Right, right. I understand completely. You must have some scrubbing to get to, right, Swabby? How's the score going? It would be going a lot better with fewer interruptions. Uh, Flair? What? Can we talk about your vote on going to Monkey Island? No. Oh, come on. 
But there must be something I can do for you. Something you want? Nothing you can give me. Try me. Okay, fine. Earlier today, I lost my grandmother's whale knife. It was a gorgeous heirloom. I treasured it. And now it's gone. Bring me the knife, and I'll vote for your stupid plan. Great. Uh, Can you tell me where and when you last saw it? It was sticking out of Gullet's back. Right after I stabbed him with it. Probably still there. LeChuck threw Gullet over the side. Yep. Joke's on you, Swabby. (laughs) And I guess on me, too. Now beat it. I'm busy. Nice try, Swabby. But that's not my knife. It's not even a whale knife. Can I give you a hand washing these plates? Nah, I already did those. You'd think on a ship there would be opportunity to change the water once in a while. You might want to change this water someday. Just a thought. It's not water. I'm marinating the plate scrapings for tomorrow's dinner. Ooh, I think I'll skip dinner tomorrow. So, Putra. Chef, Putra. Please call me Chef. Everybody does. They do? No. Never. But they should. How come people don't call you Chef? Because they're a bunch of pedestrian clods who wouldn't know a great meal if it hit them in the mouth. Which, by the way, it often does, if you cook it right. Or wrong. But mainly it's because technically I am a cook, not a chef. It's a job title. So a chef outranks a cook? Yeah. Of course, on a ship this size, I'd still be the only one making food, so that part doesn't mean anything. It's just about the recognition. Does a chef get paid more than a cook? I mean, yes, but on this ship, not enough to make a difference. It's the principle of the thing. Well, have you tried to get a promotion? Only about a dozen times. I keep the written request handy, complete with case studies and cost-benefit analysis. There is absolutely nothing wrong with this. But LeChuck refuses to sign it. Management. (laughs) Yeah. Did you know Gullet well? Sure. He and I were the only zombies in the crew until you came along. How did you become a zombie? Oh, the usual way. I was at the Culinary Academy at the time. At first, I thought I was having an allergic reaction to some strawberries. (laughs) (laughs) How about you? Me? Um... Another zombie bit me while trying to eat my brain, of course. A bite? That old wife's tale. If you didn't want to tell me, you should have just said so. Uh, sometimes I forget I'm a zombie. I don't. Every time I try to get a decent cooking job at a restaurant or some swanky manor house, they say I'm too green, and they play it off like they're talking about experience level, but I know what they mean. Zombies need not apply. We don't want them rotting near the food. You must have experiences like that. My birthday party clown gig really dried up. Imagine thinking zombies are scarier to children than clowns are. (laughs) There's no justice. It's absurd. What was Gullet like? Well, you'll have noticed he was a bit of a bully. Not at all. He didn't have much power or control in his life, and he was insecure about that. So he compensated by being domineering, vicious, and cruel whenever he had the opportunity. You don't say. But he had his good side. He wrote poetry. Nobody else knows that. He kept it a secret. He was always afraid someone would steal his ideas. Not that anyone would have. His poems were total garbage. (laughs) Anyway... I'd like to try to sway you on the Monkey Island vote. 
Save your breath, I'm unswayable. There's only one opinion I value, and that's Iron Roses. She's the smartest one on the ship. Second smartest. Now that you mention it, I'm remembering that I said just last week that I'd always vote with Rose. So I'm gonna do that on this too. Whatever way Rose votes, that's how I'll vote. Thanks for reminding me. Oh. You sure I can't change your mind on the Monkey Island issue? Yeah, I'm voting whatever way Rose votes. Okay. I'll let you get back to cooking. Yeah. Putra makes a compelling case for promotion. Why don't I see if I can make some headway with your promotion? I think LeChuck likes me. <laughs> sure, knock yourself out. If nothing else, we'll all get some entertainment out of it. It's hard to tell if those are for cooking or combat. It's cute that you think there's a difference. Can I ask about that pepper shaker? It's demon pepper, made from demon peppers, which are basically the hottest peppers you can get. Do not, under any circumstances, put it on anything you intend to eat. I like spicy food. Not like this. Burns on the way in, burns on the way out. In between, burns. Yeah. Can I borrow your demon pepper? No. Can I borrow your demon pepper? No. Remind me what you told me about the pepper. It's very, very, very hot. These open plan offices are all the rage now. I have to say, I thought you were gone for good. I was feeling no small amount of pleasure about it, in fact. It'll take more than a bath to get rid of old Gullet. Now pull me out of here before I hang you by your own intestines, swabby! Well, it's actually first swab now. What is? Me! The Chuck gave me your job. You! Not likely. I do prefer a management role. Less scrounging, more lounging. I'm gonna give your pancreas to my rat for a pillow! You might want to take a friendlier tone. This is my friendly tone, you blabbering pile of excrement! I can hold my breath for ten minutes, more or less. How about you? Well, technically, I don't have to breathe at all. But it's a reflex, isn't it? You can't really stop doing it. But it feels like drowning the whole time. So get me out of here right now, you colossal git! I'm the only one who knows you're down here. Not true. I know I'm down here, don't I? I guess you've got me there. <laughs> if I leave you here, do you think you can free yourself? Of course not. You think I haven't tried that already? It's a matter of leverage. As in, I'm gonna get a lever and smack you in the head with it if you don't get me out of here right now. Once we set sail, you'll probably be crushed into paste by the rudder. Why would you tell me that? Well, in case you're worried about being stuck for a long time. When I get my hands on you, I'm going to eat both your legs, throw them up, and then eat them all over again! It would be smart of me not to give you the opportunity, then. Nice talking to you, Gullet. What do you mean, nice talking to you? 
Oh, I don't mean it literally, of course. Just politely ending our conversation. Wait, no, no, get, get me out of here for pity's sake. You baboon! I'd get you for this. He's pretty securely pinned there by the rudder. There's also a knife in his back, but that's clearly not why he's stuck. That's Flair Gory's grandmother's whale knife. It's a beauty. You clown. That isn't gonna do any good. It wasn't even bothering me. Can I get you anything? You can tell whoever's been turning the ship's wheel to knock it off. I could lose a leg or something. I'll be sure to pass that along. He's pretty securely pinned there by the rudder. Deck schedule. One bell, crew voting. Two bells, the chuck shouting. Would you like to read this pamphlet? No thanks. I've already read that lots of times. Want to read Putra's request for promotion? Oh, believe me, I have seen that plenty of times. you see me be thinking? Make it quick, Swabby! What do you want, Swabby? Why exactly are you trying to find the secret of Monkey Island? The secret of Monkey Island has tormented many a pirate. Some believe it doesn't exist, that it's just a myth or a joke concocted by... None has been more obsessed over it than that idiot Guybrush. Me? I think it holds a mystical power to be harnessed for evil. And as an added bonus, it will drive Threepweed over the edge of madness. Threepwood. Wood. With two O's. What was your name again? Uh, Swabby. With two B's. Mind if I take a look at that map you were waving around earlier? Don't touch the map. That be the one true map to the secret of Monkey Island. Procured by me at great expense and no small amount of trouble. So I'll not have you touching it, even with your eyeballs. Leastwise, not while they still reside in your skull. Are you sure I can't take a peek at the map to the secret? I just washed my hands. Touching that map is a shortcut to being keelhole. I may have figured out a way to get to Monkey Island. I spotted another ship making a potion, and we can just follow them. What does that nameplate say? Uh, the one there, on my desk. It says LeChuck. And LeChuck is a leader, not a follower. One more thing, Swabby. Now that you be first swab, you'll be needing to fill out the Swabby report. Take this report, fill it out, and give it to Iron Rose for her initials. Some say it's grog that keeps a pirate ship running. It's not. It's paperwork. Shh. 
Shouldn't ye be swabbing? What do you want, Swabby? The voodoo potion spell thingamajig is coming along great. Nothing to worry about. Then, why are you bothering me about it? Now get out of here so I can think! What do you want, Swabby? Just spitballing here, but Putra really deserves a promotion. She makes a mean eyeball soup. And when I say mean, I do mean that quite literally. Did she put you up to this? Putra has been trying to wrangle a promotion out of me for years. Go tell Putra her plan failed, and to make sure she's at the keel hauling at four. Didn't Guybrush Threepwood get to Monkey Island years ago? Guybrush Threepwood is a fancy pants wearing third rate sailor and a has been pirate! He stole the woman I loved, and I will eat his heart at the gates of hell. Did you really love Elaine, or was it more of a. My patience is wearing thin, Swabby! Now get out of here so I can think! Is this about a promotion for Putra again? I've told her a hundred times I'm never going to sign that. Now get out of here so I can think! Keep your eyes off that map, Swabby. What do you think you're doing, Swabby? Back where you belong. No one's allowed in my inner sanctum. One of your ancestors? None of your business. What do you think you're doing, Swabby? Back where you belong. Uh, Flair? What do you want? How's the score going? It would be going a lot better with fewer interruptions. I found your knife. My grandmother's knife? Thanks, Swabby. I have no idea how you pulled that off, but I guess a deal's a deal. I'll vote for your stupid plan. I still think you should vote to go to Monkey Island. I don't want to talk about that now. I'm having a crisis of faith. About not being inspired by LeChuck to follow his- Okay. I still think you should- I don't want to talk about that now. I'm having a crisis of faith. About not being inspired by LeChuck to follow his lead. Okay. Want to help me find things to list on my report? No thanks. I'll do my job, you do yours.
Disgraceful. It's like no one on this ship has heard of recycling. added the empty crates to my report. I've already added the empty crates to my report. One bell, voting hour. The meeting is called to order. Are there any matters to be voted on? Following Madison's ship to Monkey Island. On which I vote I. Nay. Nay. I. Nay. Nay. That's more eyes than before. But the vote to go must be unanimous. Sorry, Swabby. Meeting adjourned. for cannon firing. It would take forever to itemize in here. I'll just make a blanket entry for the whole galley. Ghost rats. Ugh. I should have cleaned that, but I'll leave it for the next swabby. That's it. I've completed my report. I should show it to Iron Rose. Hey, Gullet. He's pretty securely pinned there by the rudder.
Could you initial this report, please? Huh. Yes. Very thorough. See? I am good at my job. I wouldn't go that far. Here. I've got a bunch of other reports ready for the captain's signature. Why don't you take him the whole stack? It's a stack of papers waiting for LeChuck's signature. Paperwork? Okay, hand it over. All stamped. Now please give me some peace and quiet. Keep your eyes off that map, Swabby! What? What do you want, Swabby? Nothing, never mind. Now get out of here so I can think! a little light reading. Are you kidding? Reading those sounds like actual work. No thanks. I don't have time for that right now. It's all stuff LeChuck has to approve anyway. bunch of empty containers of preservatives and coloring agents. Working hard? Never. Let's talk about your vote on going to Monkey Island. Are there any particular favors I can do for you? I don't know a lot about your interests. My main interests are sleeping and eating. I try to do both as much as possible. Do you have a favorite food? Oh, yes. Scorched Alaska. Salty like widow's tears. Sweet like revenge. And fiery like a hot poker to the tongue. Sounds good. Exquisitely painful, yes. How do you make scorched Alaska? I don't. I have someone else make it. Uh, professional if possible. There are safety concerns. What's the book? It's a book of underworld jokes. Jokes from beyond the pale. <laughs> Unheard of in this world. Underworld jokes, you say? Any good? Hilarious. Would you describe that book as entertaining? I would use a shorter word, but yes. Think you'll be done reading soon? No. I don't really have anything else to do. Remind me how you make Scorched Alaska? I engage a professional. Keep up the bad work. Always. Well, it looks like they haven't figured out their skull problem yet. Good.
So, Chef. I don't suppose you know how to make Scorched Alaska? Of course I can make Scorched Alaska, but I'm not going to. Why not? Scorched Alaska is the kind of thing that requires a skilled chef. Apparently, I'm still only a cook. I see. Are you sure you don't want to make a Scorched Alaska? Like I said, Scorched Alaska calls for a chef. What exactly is a Scorched Alaska? Imagine a dessert shaped like a huge legless jellyfish with a texture like ice cream wrapped in packing foam and it sets your face on fire when you eat it. <laughs> Appetizing. Not really. I'll let you get back to cooking. Yeah. What? Paperwork? Okay, hand it over. I feel like the supply of paperwork is endless. All stamped. Now please give me some peace and quiet. Good news, Chef Putra. You're officially promoted. I'm a chef! Chef Putra! <laughs> Thanks, Swabby. You're amazing. I owe you one. Um, first swab. So, Chef. You sure I can't change your mind on the Monkey Island issue? I do owe you one, but I'm still voting whatever way Rose votes. Okay. Now that you're a chef, would you make me a Scorched Alaska? Of course. I have to warn you, though, not to try to eat it. Because of the demon pepper? Mostly. You've still got a fair amount of your face left. It'd be a shame to melt it off prematurely. Some chefs these days use dandruff out of a can. But I would never take a shortcut like that. One scorched Alaska made to order. Be careful with it, and like I said, don't try to eat it. Thanks. I don't think I should. Putra said it's made with demon pepper. I really don't think that's a good idea. Putra said, burns on the way in, burns on the way out. In between? I'm not even that hungry. favors, but I managed to get you this. Scorched Alaska. Sweet, poisonous shades of my shady and poisonous childhood. It seals me inside like a lost love. A masterpiece. I am in your debt. 
I hate being in date, so uh, let's just say I'll vote your way next time we talk about that uh, plan of yours. The one with the monkeys. You're not reading this. Can I borrow it? Sure. I'll let you have it for the rest of the day. Thanks. Working hard? Never. Uh, about your vote. Relax. I'll back your play. Working hard? Never. Uh, about your vote. Relax. I'll back your play. Underworld joke book. All jokes about demons and otherworldly stuff. Hey, Bob, I've got a great book for you. Hey, this looks promising. Thanks. I owe you one. Can I count on your vote to go to Monkey Island? Sure, no problem. How's the book, Bob? Oh, it's very funny. I don't think I've ever heard any of the jokes before. Good. So you're still on my side about the Monkey Island vote, right? Sure, sure. I still think you should vote to go to Monkey Island. I don't want to talk about that now. I'm having a crisis of faith. About not being inspired by LeChuck to follow his lead. Okay. King Swabby. How's it going in there, Murray? I don't know what you're planning now, but I'm going to see you burn for it. giving me this at my orientation. It's got some good stuff in it. Oh, yeah. I put it together myself, you know. No kidding. <laughs> Betray trust. Commit fraud. Threaten bodily harm. So unswerving. So unapologetically ruthless. This really takes me back. Me too. Uh, back to earlier today in my case. LeChuck is really an amazing leader. You can hang on to that if you like. No, thanks. I'm good. Now that I've remembered why it is that I'm willing to follow LeChuck anywhere, even when I think he's doing something stupid. Just so we're clear, that means you're going to vote to go to Monkey Island now? Yes. Even though I know you want me to. Works for me. I think I've got everyone's support now. Time to call for another vote. As Quartermaster, can't you just decide that we're going to Monkey Island and tell the others what to do? Sorry, Swabby. That just isn't how it works. I respect the will of the crew. Everybody has to be in. Can we vote on going to Monkey Island again? You want another vote? Go ring the bell yourself. <laughs> Toasty. One bell. Voting hour. The meeting is called to order. 
Are there any matters to be voted on? Following Madison's ship to Monkey Island, on which I vote aye. 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 Six in favor, none opposed. I hope you're happy, Grandma. Everybody, get ready. We'll follow the other ship as soon as she gets underway. Yes. So then you went to Monkey Island. Not right away. I still needed to get my hands on the Chuck's map to the secret. So, everything's more or less ready to go? As soon as Madison's ship gets underway, we'll follow it. I myself wasn't quite ready yet, because I still needed to steal LeChuck's map. Oh, yeah! Okay, Murray, I just need one more thing from you. I hope you're not allergic to gunpowder. Of course I'm not. Hey, what are you doing? These things are dangerous. I better get my hands on the Chuck's map first. I better get my hands on the Chuck's map first. Can't you see me be thinking? Make it quick, Swabby! What do you want, Swabby? Are you sure I can't take a peek at the map to the secret? Touching that map is a shortcut to being keelhole. The voodoo potion spell thingamajig is coming along great. Nothing to worry about. Then... Now get out of here so I can think! I better leave it on while I'm on the ship. I've got a few coins for incidentals. One bell, voting hour. The meeting is called to order. Are there any matters to be voted on? Longer break times for Swabies. Seriously? You've been on a break since we left port. And I'd like to continue that. Fine, we'll vote. Nay, 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 nay. Aye. Motion fails. Meeting adjourned. It's empty now. I better get my hands on the Chuck's map first. 
You uh, okay in there, Marie? When I get out of here, I'm going to chew both your legs off and use your traitorous fingers to pick my teeth. Okay then, just checking. Looks like it'd be more useful for fishing than stopping. He's pretty securely pinned there by the rudder. Can I get you anything? You can tell whoever's been turning the ship's wheel to knock it off. I could lose a leg or something. I'll be sure to pass that along. It's the ship's hold. Home sweet home. The rest of my gear is in there. I hope it'll be safe down here. It's probably fine. Uh, Flare? <sighs> what is it? I'll leave you alone now. Yes, you will. So, Chef. I'll let you get back to cooking. Yeah. These open plan offices are all the rage now. I'll probably do my shirt in a few weeks when it starts to get mossy. <laughs> Eeh, devil crabs like limbs, apparently. Schedule. One bell, crew voting. Two bells, the chuck shouting. <laughs> Very musical, but I'm getting a headache. <laughs> that time again already? Well, let's get to it. Back straight, you shifty, feckless parasites! Why is the ship's cauldron still empty? I distinctly ordered a mystical voodoo potion. If a ship is going to function properly, blah, 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 blah. It's not much of a map. There's just some writing on it, but clearly it's important. It's not much of a map. There's just some writing on it, but clearly it's important. If I'm wrong about what that is, taking it would be a big mistake. If I'm right, it would be a bigger one. A map. I don't think he'll spot the difference. Now I just need to get Madison a skull, and we'll be good to go. 
Hopefully he'll be fooled for long enough. And who knows? In conclusion, shape up or the eels will be gnawing on your carcass! All right, same time tomorrow then. Dismissed. She's underway. All hands, stand by to make sail. We're nearly there, me hearties. The fabled shores of fabled Monkey Island. Captain Madison and her associates will have to be dealt with, of course. But our top priority is the secret. <laughs> Extra grog rations for everyone. Grog. Yes. Hey. All right. Wow. <laughs> Great one. Oops. What? I did not see that coming. I want to savor this, so I'm going to let you have the first jab. You're as rusty as that butter knife you call a sword. We're both still sharper than you. Okay, decent comeback. Why don't you try again? You're all swagger and no dagger. I've got plenty of dagger. Blast. Oh, hey. Hey, cheating! I won that round! Also, I'm pretty sure we're supposed to use the swords when we do this. You don't seem to know how to use a sword. I can't decide if you're waving that thing like a feather duster or more like a mop. Hey, I know that one! Oh, I've been practicing, huh? What comeback would you use for waving it like a feather duster or like a mop? That's what I thought, too. I can't decide if you're waving your sword like a feather duster or more like a mop. Either way, I'll clean the floor with you. Too late to start doing your job now, Swabby! Hey, you're laying a comeback on my comeback? That's gotta be against the rules. You really should keep up on the latest trends. Goodbye, Threepwood. Whoa, whoa. 